Even though there is not much abundance in my blooming alley at the moment, I do have some blooms, some remnants that I would like to share with you before I cut the spikes off so as to give my orchids a rest for the stressful times that are ahead. It is so nice to have you here. I look forward to also sharing you some Spanish sun. <laughs> It's one of those days where you need a sweater, but you don't if you're standing in the sun. It's sort of in-betweenish, but I hope that you stick around. It won't be a long video as there's not that much around, but what is around is a true blessing. Not in the viewfinder, but on a mount, I have a little Hawiara lava burst in bloom. She is starting to fade. She has been in bloom for probably six weeks now. This is a rescued orchid. Look at that. And she's starting another new growth as well. Maybe that'll bloom for us as well. But yes, how we are a lava burst. I consider rescued. She's proud on her little scrubby pad. I can't see if this is focusing and I hope it is because like I said, I don't want to make this video too long, but oh goodness me we do have to look at these I boast one single zygopetalum bloom unfortunately I had a little creature come and eat the rest of the buds that were on here we could have enjoyed four just one but goodness me this cinnamon sugar spice fragrance is quite intense with a single bloom and I also feel that the bloom is a little bit bigger simply because she was the only one and all the energy went into her. She looks a little bit yellowy and bronzy in the viewfinder, but she does have a very bright green background. I am happy to even just have a single zygo bloom. <laughs> this is the second spike of the Alisiara Peggy Ruth Carpenter Morning Joy, and she complements the spicy cinnamon sugar fragrance of the single zygo bloom with her cracked pepper fragrance. It's quite remarkable what is going on at the moment in the Blooming Alley fragrance wise. And if you could be here, you would get a note of like a Medina because we are going to go into other fragrances just now. And despite not having much to actually show for, mm, the aroma in here is pretty intense. Thank goodness for the sun. Her first spike bloomed out quite a few weeks ago. Unfortunately, they didn't develop both at the same time, but goodness me. Always lovely jubbly to have Peggy back in the blooming alley. We'll get to my Senua a little bit later on because at the moment the tripod is set up for lofty heights. You see, not even enough. It's a bit of a tight squeeze here in the blooming alley. <laughs> here is my Grassocatlia binosa Wabash Valley. Both leads have bloomed out. Super happy. This orchid needs another repot just when she was recovering. And this one is now very, very fragrant with gorgeous citrusy vanilla hues with sugar intermingled. And her fragrance intensifies the later the day goes on. So back to Zygo with the cinnamon sugar. Then we have cracked pepper. And now I've got this fresh lemon sugar fragrance as well. The three are not competing. Instead, they are really complementing each other into something absolutely delicious. I wish there was scratch and sniff available here. Hope that you can see the colors okay. I'm not going to apologize for the sun. Much needed and I crave every single ray, but you can see the gorgeous star-shaped bloom of this Binosa Wabash Valley. And I wanted to show you Hibiki one last time because when I finished filming, I'm cutting all the blooms off. Yes, I know. It looks like they are still to some degree presentable. Some are coming off relatively easy now. She is tired. I want her to get some rest before the winter comes. She's growing new growths, but as long as the orchid is in bloom like this, she's putting energy into those blooms, not exactly into the new growth. So I'm going to be cutting these off, but with the rays of sunshine filtering through her beautiful hot pink blooms, it's just a beautiful sight that I wanted to share with you. Hello, voice. <laughs> Got a bit of a crackly voice going on there. Yeah, it's in between sweaters and not sweaters, so I hope I'm not going to come down with anything, but isn't that just beautiful? Yeah, we're going to be taking the blooms off, but thank you, Hibiki, so, so much for being ye old faithful. Just want to show you what I mean. You see the new growths back here? Here we have two new growths. 
and they've already finished growing because of the blooming. So I'd like to get them back to this size and that is where my focus will be for the coming year. Maybe give my hibiki a rest. Catlia cernua in bloom. I'm gonna do a separate video, but I want to feature these blooms as they are all opening. I counted 29. They are not as spectacular in a pot as they were on the mount back in the day, so she is going to be remounted. But look, isn't this just the most adorable thing ever? I love, love, love these blooms. The orchid herself is not exactly happy in the pot. I'm not comfortable with the visual. Normally the pseudobulbs should be nice and plump by now. Even the older pseudobulbs shouldn't be as wrinkled as they are. So this orchid is going to get to bloom. I'm letting her, as you can see, but I'm going to be cutting the spikes off once it's somewhat bloomed out. I will cut them off prematurely, even if blooms are still fresh, to give the orchid a rest, because we will be remounting this one in 2024. But just look at how gorgeous this bloom is with the sun filtering through. The pixie dust, it's just, it's just a magical little orchid. Look at that. And if I geek too much and you're still here, thank you so much. And if you don't mind me geeking out so much, would you please give this video a like? If you're here for the first time, please, please subscribe. It really helps a lot. Isn't that just adorable? So I'm going to wait for the buds, all of them to open, document them, and then we're going to give Cernua a rest. I just can't get enough of her, though. It's going to be tough, but if we want her around long term, yeah. Anyway, another video with her will come up at some point, so stay tuned. We will be able to gawk at them again. I'd like to go down one more level to show you another orchid that is in bloom down here in the blooming alley, the remnants of the summer. This is the Procatavola golden peacock three gorgeous spikes. It is not a single plant anymore, but the three pieces that are now in this pot, they have all bloomed out. So thank you so, so much. I'm so happy this orchid is back because she has to be treated radically when it comes to a root ball cleanup because she is a vigorous, vigorous root grower. But it's nice to see these gorgeous, I mean, seriously, look again, look at how the sun filters through and makes that orange really shine. I don't even have to tell you that the color looks any different on the viewfinder than it does in real life. It's just boom, orange. I'm not gonna be turning the orchid around, but you can see the other two spikes as well. And you can also see that the blooms are bit by bit starting to fade. That is why I wanted to do this video very, very quickly, because I have a feeling that the blooming alley will be closed very soon until such a time that the temperatures are ideal in 2024. <laughs> I have a sad face. I'm sorry. This is so hard for me. <laughs> I don't like this season of orchid growing in my climate, <laughs> but I'm going to show you something else. We're not quite done yet, but this orchid does not fit into the blooming alley. If you like blueberry sugar candy, stick around. Thank you to everybody that watches my videos and knew ahead of time I was going to show my Vanda Chow Praia spikes. Three of them. The two spikes on the right is the first time blooming growth and the one spike right at the tippy top there, that is the main stem of the orchid. And I have a second growth to the left there that has not bloomed yet. So if you already knew what I was going to show and you did not click out of the video, thank you so, so much for still being here. I just feel I don't show some orchids enough and then when they are in bloom, I feel I show them too much, but it is about the blooms, isn't it? And this orchid, I'm standing about six feet away from her. I can smell this blueberry sugar candy. It's insane. It is insanely delicious. Also the fact that it is wind still. This is what I see when I turn the corner and I can smell her as I turn the corner. What, what, what can I say? I just want to share this beautiful spectacle with you. And forgive me if things are a little bit repetitive when it comes to this orchid. But look at this! How can I say, nah, you've seen it already. Boring. I can't. I can't. I don't feel that way. 
Anyway, this is my quick little video of the orchids that are in bloom in the Blooming Alley. I do believe that it's a wrap for the Blooming Alley of 2023. I do have a kind of a Blooming Alley indoors, but we'll have a look at that on days that are not as gorgeous, glorious, and somewhat warm as today is. So welcome if you've subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me and the orchids on the patio in southern Spain. Thank you for giving this video a like. Thank you also so much for watching. All your support is so appreciated. I wish you a beautiful day. On that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.